This is a quick video demonstrating the difference between a device where factory reset protection has been disabled and a device where uh, factory reset protection has a whitelisted Google account for additional management. On the left is a Sony Xperia XA2 with factory reset protection enabled using a Google account that I have whitelisted. And on the right is a Nokia 5.1 with factory reset protection disabled. As you can see, I've just done an unauthorized reset using an incorrect PIN number four times. Now, four times was depicted by my UEM policy. With the devices now in a factory reset state, I'm going to try and set them up. So far, everything is continuing as normal. If you're paying attention, you might notice on the Sony there's already a small padlock in the top left corner. This indicates that factory reset protection is enabled. As you can see, factory reset protection is kicked in on the Xperia already, asking for a Google account. Now it doesn't tell you which Google account, it just expects you to know. While the Nokia continues set up unrestricted, I'm going to go ahead and put in the details of the Google account that I've whitelisted on my UEM. That'll now continue as normal, but if I didn't know the account credentials, that would require a call to my organization to get the details or to bring the device back to base to have it unlocked. As you can see, the Nokia has completed setup successfully and I can now essentially do whatever I want with it, as would any employee out in the field who manages to perform an unauthorized reset on their device without the organization's knowledge. Hopefully this demonstrates the capabilities of factory reset protection when managed appropriately and why I'm excited to see more UEMs adopting it. Thank you.